morning everyone and welcome back to MCM Outdoors. <coughs> I'm still on the road to recovery, but I'm feeling slightly better than I was on the last walk, which is all good. I've come out to a stretch of water near me. It's the Leeds to Liverpool Canal. And I'm hoping to find a quiet area just to cook up something to eat and know it's not noodles today and broaden my horizons. I brought the drone, the wind and rain have subsided over the last few days and hopefully I'm going to bring you some nice drone footage again because we're keeping it local of the West Lancashire Plain. It's a really nice area this, it's steeped in history and I'll leave a bit of that in the description box below the video itself. But if we just turn you around, I'll show you an old former air base which was constructed during World War II in Bersco. A couple of basic landing strips and um, the remnants, you know, are still present. And there's a couple of hangars there which obviously used to house the aircraft back in the day. Really interesting. Again, I'll leave the information regarding that in the description box below and maybe Lou, the MCM researcher, can also do a little bit of research in that regard. But if I turn you around, you can see there's some of the hangars. There's obviously some cranes and construction stuff there. But uh, if you can find some graphics to overlay which depict the runways, you can imagine it back in the day, really atmospheric. You know, Spitfires pilots training up to go and fight in the skies above Britain during the Second World War. Anyway, I'm going to crack on, make my way down the canal to a small patch which I've found in years gone by and we're going to enjoy this fresh air and local walk again just exploring what's on my doorstep and places which would normally be overlooked if we weren't subject to these restrictions so let's carry on with the walk and I hope you enjoy the scenery and the drone footage on this one. It's a noisy little fella just down there there he is hunting for bugs and slugs and snails. Hopefully these different types of videos are bringing another aspect to the channel you know and you know I'd like to encourage people to to get out a bit more and see what's on the doorstep. You know you'd be surprised. I think yeah you know, I've banged on about it in so many videos. Get yourself an OS map and and see what's on your doorstep you will you will be surprised. Even if you live in an urban area, there's lots of nice walks you can do, nice routes, you know, just just alleviate some of this boredom in lockdown and get yourself out. And we've got about 10 or 15 more minutes walking to our little spot which we've scouted out. And we'll get up there. I brought the Trangia 27 stove which is a methylated spirit stove, carrying on from the theme of the last video, nice and quiet and stealthy. I was going to bring the bush box, but I didn't want a big trailer smoke highlighting where I was, so yeah, we're going to go into stealth mode with the meths. The main issue with that will be actually lighting the stove. I'll stop rambling on and we'll carry on on the walk. Now, there looks to be a little bit of bad weather heading in. Looks like it's going to hit us directly. Maybe a little bit of rain showers. I've got the GoPro with me, so it needs to be. I'll just put this camera away and wait for it to pass over. They're only isolated showers, so it shouldn't be too bad. We can see it's definitely heading in. Oh, 
now it's hailing. <laughs> a full on hailstorm. I spoke too soon about that weather missing us. Let's head for the shelter of this bridge. Well finally that rain's let up, went on for a little bit longer than I thought, we are under there for a good 10 minutes. That one's moved away, we're going to keep an eye on things, it's just isolated showers everywhere today, blowing in. Whilst I'm not normally bothered about the rain, camera equipment is expensive and I'm not in a position to replace anything if it breaks at the moment. So got to look after my stuff. Following the canal as it's bending round to the southeast, the next village, if we continued on past, will be Skaysbrick and then into Haskane and Lydiate and Magull on from there but we won't be going that far today we won't even be going to Skaysbrick although I might have a last minute change of plan if uh, if the weather holds out I'm looking down there and I have to say it's not looking promising folks <laughs> there's another you can see that anvil shaped top these are cumulonimbus cells and that's what they are and the top of the cloud blows out normally in the direction it's traveling but not always because sometimes there's different winds at higher levels so all that area there is called an anvil an anvil top and that is coming this way so I'm gonna find some shelter and hope the gear doesn't get wet if it stays like this we'll have to cancel the drone I'll have a look on a, a weather app and, and see if we're going to get a break. And you can probably hear, still, still quite breathless, which is a little bit disconcerting, considering on a flat walk, but hopefully just build things up and that'll go. But yeah, there's another big cell heading our way, so let's dodge this one and hurry up and get to our shelter. Now with me stopping to take pictures all the time, that weather is moving faster than I am and it's not hard at the moment. We need to get a move on. So my predictions are it won't be very long at all before we start getting wet. I need to crack on and we've got to be a bit stealthy as to how we get into our little spot for lunch. 
and I've just seen a dog up ahead, which means there's an owner, and I don't want them to see where I'm going. So we need to keep this place secret. Let's see, we need to get a, need to get a move on. So for any weather geeks out there like me, we're now under the anvil top, which is a little bit further ahead than the main body of the cloud itself. So we haven't got long before the actual precipitation starts, but it's all good because we are about to, to land on location. Well folks, we got to our location just in time. So the plan is, I'm gonna get my gear off. We've got the LK35 rucksack with us today. Um, a dorm with a few stickers. I do need to think about getting some stickers for MCM Outdoors and that's something I'm gonna do. But just for now, here's what I predicted, this wind it's coming out the base of the cloud, the downdraft. Um, I'm going to sit this one out, put this camera away, and I'll uh, let this storm blow over. So in these storms, think of it as an up arrow and a down arrow. The up arrow is obviously the, the heated air mass rising, creating the clouds. And then what goes up must come down, picks up speed. And this wind now, you know, it seems like it's come out of nowhere. Well, it hasn't. It's coming out of the cloud. You know, in Midwest America, US, tornadoes and sort of tornadic supercells. These winds, downdrafts, rear flank downdrafts, gust fronts, they can cause massive damage, very, very powerful, and sometimes they're actually mistaken for the tornado itself. But, yeah, I'm gonna put the camera away, folks. It's getting soaked. Right, folks, we are now clear for a bit. I reckon we've got about half an hour before some more bad weather comes in. So let's get this stove out. I'll show you what I've got. Ugh, here we go. We've brought with us the Trangia 27 Ultralight. And are you ready? Look at this. Never let it be said that here on MCM Outdoors, it's not a Michelin star quality food. Beans and sausages. Let's get that cooked up. Proper camping fair. We get this camera set up, and the first battle is to get the methylated spirit lit. So let's crack on. We have a lighter, an essential with these. So basically, these stoves, I think many of you watching these videos will be familiar with it, but for the benefit of people that may be aren't, it's a, it's a cheap ish simple and effective cooking system it's swedish so anything that is scandinavian in my book i'm a big fan of i love scandinavian outdoor gear i think some of my best or well, my best piece of outdoor scandinavian equipment is the nordisk opland 3 lightweight variant kindly sent by an absolute legend matthias lauridsen I think I pronounced his name wrong, but again, what a top bloke sending us that. I absolutely cannot wait to get out to use it more. Really impressed by Nordis tents, and I've got my eye on something. And I'm gonna have a little chat with Nordisk and see if we can make something happen. 
So you get a burner, a brass burner, which sits in this base. I have some spare meth somewhere. I'll just give this a little bit of a top up. Don't fill it right to the top. It's about a centimetre below, I do. And it serves me well. I am sure I will be corrected. But that is it. All we need to do now is get it lit and crack on with the Michelin star beans and sausages. We have our lighter here. Met is a lot easier to light when it's warmer. I'll just hold this here for a few seconds and it, it should do the job. It's an invisible flame. Obviously it's a spirit stove. And that, <laughs> as you always find out to your detriment, using that method is not recommended, is lit. So that is the windshield that I've just put on. I'm going to drop these pot supports down. Don't worry, I'll bring you in for a closer look. Again, always take the rubber seal out because we're going to use the lid to extinguish it once we've finished cooking. But that is it, it's lit. Job is a good one. Put the lighter away. You get two different size um, pans. Give this a bit of a shake. Empty the contents out. I, mean, I don't know why I'm providing instructions on how to empty some beans and sausages into a pan, but I don't know. What am I doing? <laughs> that there, and then that is it. You get a little gripper to grip your pan, but now we need to carry on stirring. We've got our cookware, just a little titanium sea to summit set. Let's Let's get the spoon off here. I'll just put this on a carabiner just to keep it all together. But yeah, let's bring you in for a, for a closer look. Now we're done. And uh, yeah, you also get a little kettle in there as well. Let's bring you in for a closer look. That is it, folks. This is the setup. Simple and effective. There's no moving parts, nothing to break. down there these are the grippers you get you get two different size pans with it you get a frying pan which Mr Quinlan Mountain Mike kindly sent me a non-stick variant as you can see they're prone to a little bit of stickage a bit of carbonation in the base of it yeah but it all adds to that classic camping appeal doesn't it so you've got your base in which the burner is stored. This acts as the windshield and it's a cracking bit of kit. Just keep staring it. And I'm gonna say we're cooking on gas. Well, we're not, are we? We're cooking on spirits. I need to stop waffling. I've been talking non-stop. A few people have commented that all I do is talk and it's true, isn't it? Anyway, very quickly, keep my mess in here and I've added 10% water it stops with well it reduces um, burning in the base of the pan let's give this a few minutes and heat these through but included in the set you get this nice little kettle it's like a miniature kettle and um, that's what I'm going to be using to, to heat up the water for my drink I've actually got a, a hot chocolate and my trusty SIG bottle which I've customised with my stickers from Forest and Fire. I'll leave a link to them in the description box below this video but uh, these beans are bubbling away nicely, the beans and sausages just keep it moving but it's really stable you know I'd, it's not like cooking on other gas stoves where you've you know potentially got an unstable pot and unsupported it provides a really stable platform for cooking and that is one of the benefits of it obviously cheap to run 
no moving parts and um, yeah they've been used for many many years and it's tried tested and they just work uh, there's many many advocates of the transier stoves They're obviously copied but stick with the original in my book nice Christmas present of my sister I've got two nice tin mugs now if we look it's only been on a few minutes and it is quite a breezy day it just shows how effective the windshield is cracking bit of kit now what I'm going to do is pour the water into my kettle so it's good to go as soon as we take that off we're straight on with the kettle just reducing the time that we've got to wait for our hot drink this handle can fall flat just enough for a drink that's all we need lid on, stop these pine needles coming in and the handle up so ready to go as soon as this is done and as you can see it's boiling up nicely already again just give it a good stir at the base of the pan just to avoid stickage and blackening on it but it's not a bad bit of kit that cracking this seat pad comes in nice and handy saves you getting a wet bum um, anyone who's interested in any of the stuff I've got on um, I'm wearing an Anorak number no. 8 by Fjallraven likewise their cap the cap I'm wearing is very warm you know you look a bit soft with it on to be honest but it's about function not fashion I guess and it is very very warm it's got this fake fair around the ears it can be clipped up it can be clipped back over to the side or you know you can clip it all the way around the base of your chin it's a very effective and very warm hat and it does a good job likewise the anorak a lot of people have asked me regarding waterproofness they're not waterproof they can be made more water resistant by the use of Greenland wax wax it hair dryer and um, you know it becomes more water resistant now this is done we don't need to make sure it's cooked any more than that we're just warming them through so these are done and we're just going to swap them out for the kettle so as not to waste our fuel so using the grippers straight off and kettle on jobs are good un. eating on camera is never a good thing so how nice is it just to come out and just something as simple as cooking some beans and sausages on a transier stove it's mindfulness and during these tough times I would encourage you all to to get out as much as you can and just come and enjoy the outdoors nice thing about this way of cooking using meths on a transier is how silent it is so it's very stealthy and people you like to be as quiet as possible and sort of at one with nature in the outdoors will prefer this anyway that'll do me that's boiling so now to extinguish this you can take the windshield off makes it a little bit easier to one side 
Again, making sure that we've taken the rubber seal out. Just put that over the top. One quick movement. And we're done. Let it cool down. Once it's cooled down, put the rubber seal back in. Stops the meths leaking out all over your stuff. And put it all back together, minus the dirty pan, which I'm gonna put just in a carrier bag. I'm gonna sit, stay cozy which we are doing. So I'm going to sit and enjoy this, stop filming and take in the scenery because that's what it's all about. Oh, lovely, absolutely lovely. Folks, I mentioned a while back that uh, when the channel hit the 10,000 subscriber milestone that I would do a giveaway and that I would hide the giveaway and not just advertise it as such just to prevent people who enter giveaways that don't follow the channel I think it should go to someone who has um, stuck with us and watched the videos and indeed watches them through to their entirety so we've got quite a lot of goodies to give away and if you don't win this one and you're going to find out how to enter very shortly if you don't win this one make sure you keep watching the videos and watching them all the way through to the end because you don't know where I'm going to put it so I'll leave that with you but the very first thank you and giveaway back to someone who you know has stuck with the channel I appreciate all the subscribers very much I don't take it for granted at all the very first prize is going to be an Akupa hand warmer which I used on the Long Ridge Fell wild camping video link to that above it's a cracking product it's really effective there's three different heat settings and it doubles up anything that provides another use as well in my book is even more worth the weight doubles up as a power bank if you're not using it for its primary function which is obviously the hand warmer so if you'd like to get your hands on one of these just simply reply in the comments I'm in warm me up that's I'm in warm me up I will use a random comment picker and I will leave the uh, comments open I'll do the draw two weeks after I've made the video live I will then announce the winner in the next video and uh, just get in touch with me via email the lucky winner um, and I will arrange to get the hand warmer shipped out to you via a Cooper themselves thank you very much a Cooper as well for um, making this prize available there's actually two um, so two lucky winners will be chosen in this draw so I'm in warm me up and you'll be uh, the proud owner of an Akupa hand warmer cracking bit of kit looks like there's some more bad weather heading in so we get the rest of this down us we get packed away and I'm gonna leave you with some drone footage on the lovely West Lancashire Plain where I am. Thank you very much for everyone that's watched this video. Uh, good luck for the prize draw for the hand warmer. Two lucky winners, good luck to you. Stay tuned for our future videos and watch them in their entirety because there's a lot more giveaways to come. Kept some things back as a, as a massive thank you. So go and enjoy the great outdoors. If you've enjoyed this, take the time, just do that. Quick thumbs up, doesn't cost you a penny, but it helps me out on YouTube and I very much appreciate that. Anyone who is new to MCM Outdoors, maybe consider subscribing and check out the back catalogue. There's almost 200, or there's over 230 videos. Go and enjoy the great outdoors. Go and enjoy what's on your doorstep. Even if you don't have places like this, you live in the middle of a city, go for a wander around the city, go for a wander when it's dark quiet different lit up illuminated different times of day just get outdoors go and enjoy it and reap the rewards everything it has to offer i'll see you on the next video and hope you enjoy the drone footage all right take care everyone